Hi there. Welcome back to Tyranids Judgment Day. Well we're, do. Law. we're exploring here. In the old walls, catacombs in Lithian's Crossing, and uh, we like to find out. We have found the secret compartment here. There's still some camping supplies in here. Now we're looking around. This door creates a near perfect seal with the surrounding walls. Along its surface, you see several chips and shallow gouges from failed attempts to force it open. There's nothing to interact with on its panels and you surmise that it was never meant to be opened from this side. Maybe we can. Let's look for more. Investigate the old walls. We have heard cre creepy stories about the old walls. A lot of creepy stories. People going mad. Um, people not coming back. We have already seen someone lying dead around here, so we're just sneaking around just to make sure. Just to make sure we just don't get discovered by something really bad suddenly. These floor stones have been broken recently. Bits of metal nearby would suggest it's the result of careless soldiers. What's this? A heart. This is probably a door that can be opened. But let's first <laughs> check it. on these items. A chalcadonny and here. A bronze throwing dagger. One-handed and thrown weapons. Hmm. It doesn't seem too bad, right? On the other hand, it also doesn't seem too good. Can't do that. I mean, as it's the last thing we can do here, without leaving that, let's actually do something here. There's an interesting rune. This sunken relief or heavily damage is clearly meant to depict a runic symbol, similar to the one you saw at Ascension Hall. The relief is un incomplete, and thus the final form of the rune is unknown. Make a charcoal rubbing of the relief's shape to help discern the rune's design. That will, and that's what we'll do. Pressing charcoal to parchment, you capture a blurry but proportionate image of the ancient relief. With enough collected imprints, it may be possible to reconstruct the original shape of the rune. As you work, Lantry hovers near. See how that pattern looks broken along two edges? I think there's more to the engraving than what's here. Finish the tracing. Then we'll look for more Landry and thank you. Agreed. If we collect enough sketches and imprints, we w could no doubt reconstruct the original image. Uh, imagine image, probably, in its entirety. Stirring visions. Yeah, let's look at the quests. Is there something we should do or that the game wants us to do? Into the Maelstrom. Could meet Graven Ash? Mm, no. Not yet. Um, a trial of Archons. Yeah. We have found a lot of evidence. His favorite soldiers wanted access to the Twin River's old walls. Hmm. Stirring visions. Find a way to the Lethians Crossing Spire. Hmm. There's still nothing we could do here. So let's Time probably proceed. My step. Are we in the old walls still? We'll see. Pretty creepy. I'm seeing a lot in this room I'd like to sketch. But we should keep moving. Huh. That's the spire room, as we uh, found it also in the other spire. That's some kind of riddle. I think I want to be careful here. This chamber immediately reminds you of Ascension Hall. Yeah. An intricate rune running along the floor can only mean one thing. You stand at the feet of a great spire. 
Each step you take echoes across a great distance. As you gaze upward, the sage-colored walls quickly give way to unending blackness. The rune in the center of the floor is inactive and the silence of the hall offers no clues as to its use or its function. You feel a slight tug in your chest, a faint echo of the energy that enveloped you at Vendrian's well. Hold a moment. Rantry bellows the comment louder than needed, smiling as he hears his voice echo through the massive chamber. If my sense of direction is at all reasonable, we are standing below the spire in this region. Ah, oh, and what do you know of the spires? Lantry raises an eyebrow. About as much as you, I'm afraid. Until our time at Wendrian's well, I didn't realize there were ways to access the upper reaches. Speaking of which, I'm certain there's a way to access the top of this spire as well. Let's keep our eyes out for sigils or glyphs nearby. Ah, uh, what do you recommend? Lantry points at the pattern on the floor. I start with the grooves and stones on the floor over his, over there. It's If it's like the spire at Wendrian's well, whomever built this created a mystical conduit to the top. And I don't think it very, very unlikely that the pattern is purely decorative. Let's press on. We'd like to find out. If I had a copper ring for every glyph I've sketched today. What's here? These grooves in the floor are inlaid with a dim incandescent material that glimmers. Upon closer inspection, they appear to intersect at various angles, forming a myriad of potential shapes similar to the rubbing you found. Hmm, the rubbing we found. Indeed, how did it look? I think we still have it, right? Looks like this. Hmm. Full design's a mystery for now. Could we? Ha, oh, that's cool, right? We can have it right here. So, let's see where that shape is. Seems like if we activate this, 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 and this, we have something similar to the shape. So let's start here. What's this? Oh, this is some kind of riddle, isn't it? Let's see, maybe we can complete the rubbing here. Interesting rune. Take a charcoal rubbing. This sunken relief, though heavily damaged, is clearly meant to depict a runic symbol similar to the one you saw at Ascension Hall. Relief is incomplete and thus the final form of the rune is unknown. Take the rubbing. Ah, it seems likely that the completed design is symmetrical in nature. Should the need arise, you could reasonably guess its original shape. I believe this has something to do with a symbol on the floor of the spire. Very interesting now. Let's see how it looks. Aha! Now it's getting better. Here. And yeah, I mean, it should be like this, right? There's something, I think the circle is also in it. Can we deactivate? I 
I think we need to find out somehow. I mean, I would totally use this, but it seems like this doesn't work. Or maybe it's moved the other way around. So we would have this then? No. Yeah, then let's try it out, because I don't care. So that links up. Can you deduct from the rubbing how it should be formed? I don't really think so. Oh, that cannot be deactivated now. Right. That's really odd. So if you're taking the right steps, then it cannot be deactivated anymore. Aha. So you may have to use the activations multiple times. This really doesn't make sense. It seems like you can use them multiple times. Maybe this is a reset. Yeah, that's the reset. Thankfully. So let's have a look. I mean, the it definitely looks like this shape, this shape, and these shapes. And there's something behind that circle. I would assume that circle is important. But where would we begin here? Where would begin? Let's let's just begin here. Let's then go here. No. That's odd. Hmm. I would have assumed it would work. Let's reset. I mean, there's another possibility that it's like this way and this way. We'll start here, then go. Here. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I'll... I'll have to think about it. It seemed so logical at first, but it didn't work that way. Hmm. I mean, the logical thing would be to activate this. This, 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 and this. 
And then all should be glowing, right? And then we would have that symbol. But that isn't how it works. So we'll have to figure out something. Well, thank you for watching. Um, we'll figure out <laughs> the riddle the next time. Happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Kahn, signing out.